Hey guys, welcome back to another midweek. So excited to see you. Last week the guys did dad jokes and apparently we're supposed to do mom jokes, but is that even a thing? I don't know because I'm not a mom. Yeah. Well, I guess Aaron's not a dad. True. So we're going to tell jokes anyways. Mom joke time. Mom joke time. But if you Google it, they're still dad jokes. Right. Anyways. Jokes. Don't forget to submit your jokes to us at kids at horizon.org. Your jokes, kids at horizon.org. Email them to us and we'll say them on our next midweek. Okay. Should I start this off or do you want to? Go for it. Okay. What did one hat say to the other? I don't know. What? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. Nice. <laughs> Get it. Why do skeletons stay so calm? I don't know why. Because nothing gets under their skin. <laughs> yep, not skin. Okay. Um, why was the broom late to work? Why? Because it overswept. Nice. Sweet. What do you call a pencil that has two erasers? I don't know. Pointless. <laughs> Get it? Because it's <laughs> both ends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I have a pencil joke. Okay. Um. Where do pencils go on vacation? Where? Pennsylvania. Nice. <laughs> I was going to tell you a pizza joke, but it was just too cheesy. <laughs> too cheesy. Um, where do sheeps go on vacation? A lot of vacation ones. Yeah. Okay, where do they go? The Bahamas. <laughs> Bahamas. Okay. Uh, why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? I don't know. Why? Because he was stuffed. <laughs> stuffed teddy bear. Yep. Okay. What was the first animal in space? Uh, I don't know. The cow that jumped over the moon. <laughs> I get it. What did the slow tomato say to the others? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll catch up. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um... Why did the dinosaur cross the road? I don't know why. Because the chicken wasn't born yet. Ah. Okay, last one. Which superhero hits the most home runs? Superman. Batman, of course. Because it's oh. got a bat, you know? Bat, you Batman. Go. Okay. Ready? Last one. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? What? A rocket chip. Woo! Submit your jokes to us and uh, we will say them on the air. Let's get into a little bit of midweek fun. Flame, set 
Hey guys, welcome back to another preschool Bible study. We're going through our Define book and we're already on lesson five. Can you believe it? Today we're gonna to be talking about who we are in Christ. So our verse today that we're gonna be looking at is, but God is so rich in mercy that he loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It's only by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4. So let's talk about this verse and break it down a little bit because there's a lot in it, a lot of really big words. So we're gonna talk about uh, how we can better understand this verse. So let's break it down. But God is so rich in mercy. So what does mercy mean? Mercy means forgiveness shown towards someone who you could punish or harm. So mercy is just being very, very kind to them. And the other part of the verse is, and he, talking about God, when they say he in capitals, capital he, loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, we already we were already talked about sin before in lesson three. I don't know if you guys remember. Sin is something um, really bad. It separates us from God and we don't want that. So we don't want sin in our lives. He gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It's only by grace you have been saved. So we have a new life, a new life in Christ. So let's talk about grace. What is grace? Grace is the love and forgiveness given to us by God because God made us and he loves us so, so much. We, can, we can't do anything to deserve grace. God just gives it to us freely. And when we invite Jesus into our hearts, remember how we talked about this, inviting Jesus into our hearts, we become adopted into God's family. Can you guys believe that? It's so amazing. God becomes our heavenly father. Now adopted, what does that mean? That's another big word. So adopted means that we are chosen to be part of that family. We weren't born into it. We are chosen to be part of that family. And our heavenly father cares for us so much that like a gardener, he tends to us. So have you guys ever gardened before? Have you ever planted a plant or a vegetable and seen how it grows? So um, a gardener takes care of all of the things that he plants. So remember how God made us? Um, we are his creation. So have you ever seen a grapevine before? I know, they're not that, they're not that common. But a grapevine has a really thick stem and then little vines that come out of it, almost like a tree, like a mini tree with a thick stem and little branches of vines with leaves on it. And if you tend to a grapevine properly, it grows grapes. And the branches have to be cut back or pruned every year or it won't produce any fruit or grapes. So Jesus taught us a lesson or a parable about to his followers about um, these grapes and how he's the vine and where the branch is. So let's read about it in our book and it's in our Bible. The vine and the branches from John 15. So that's on page 73. So guys go grab your preschool books and we're gonna read this story together. Jesus would teach his lessons to followers through stories called parables. Other times, Jesus would use examples of things that occur in nature. This happened one time when Jesus was teaching a group of people in Jerusalem. Jesus told the crowd, I am the true vine. My father is the gardener. Jesus knew that the people came to hear him speak that day would understand what, a, what it would take to plant, grow, and care for fruit growing on a tree or vine. A vine must be planted in good soil, watered, and watched carefully to see if anything is needed to help it grow. Branches sprout up from the vine. 
Some grow fruit, others do not. Branches that bear no fruit are cut off and thrown away. Cutting off these branches help the vine grow strong and bear delicious fruit. Jesus told the people that day that God is the gardener. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. This means that God is our creator and loving caretaker. Jesus is the vine by which we get by which we, the branches, get nutrients which causes us to grow and produce fruit. The people in this crowd in the crowd that day understood that a branch attached to a vine cannot grow or produce fruit. That a branch not attached to a vine cannot grow or produce fruit. Sorry guys. The branch would wither and die. Likewise, only in Jesus do we find full and abundant life. When we accept Jesus into our hearts and connect him Connect to him through prayer, we are able to be nurtured by him and have never ending life in heaven. My friends, I don't know about you, but I want to be with Jesus forever in heaven. It is a great place to be. So, God has become the gardener who tends to the branches. We are those branches. Jesus is the vine. He brings us water and nutrients that we can produce fruit. Now the fruit means we can do good things for God. Not like I'm gonna grow grapes out of my arms. That would be kind of silly. But we can do great things for God. And don't forget that, um, that there are great activities in our book that we can color and do to go along with this lesson. Okay, let's go over our three questions that you have to discuss with your parents, okay? So question number one, who is the gardener? Who was the gardener that we were talking about? Question number two, who is the vine? So who said that he was the vine? And question number three, can we produce fruit for God even if we were so young? Can we produce fruit for God even though we're little kids? What do you guys think? So some really good questions to discuss with your parents. We're gonna pray now and then you can get to your activities and your questions, okay? So we fold our hands, we bow our heads, and we close our eyes, and you can repeat after Miss Kelly. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for adopting me into your family. Thank you, like a gardener, you take care of me. And through you and your Bible, I find out who I am in Christ. We love you so much. Amen. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that lesson, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.